All right, six scale, it's February 29th. The infamous February 29th, I'll be here. <laughs> and 2024. We will we won't have a meeting on this. We can't have a meeting on this day for another four years. <laughs> Pretty cool. All right. Anyway, joke aside. Okay, so we got some PRs in flight for 1.2. Uh let's take a look. All right, cool. So we've got the the benchmarks. So how are we how are we let me, let me see actually? Where are you putting these? Okay. <clears throat> Gotcha. All right. Um, so, yeah, uh, yeah. I'm sorry, Dan. I missed some part of um what you said. Oh, I was gonna say I'm I'm trying to figure out where you're putting these. The um, uh, I forgot if we um, okay. So we just updated in place the 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 benchmarks and we move the uh, the window over. So we take out the. Uh, that's what I was wondering. Is we take out prior dates from. So it looks like you've got. So we take out 059 and then we move over one release yep. to include 1.1. 1 .1. So if you um, right click on that three dots, uh, well, click and um, open that file. Uh, yeah, this might be better. So uh, yeah, I can walk through the graphs. Okay. <laughs> So for um, P50 and P95, um, there was that uh, bug we discussed last time, which caused the uh, the metrics to half in, in last three weeks, but that is now fixed. So if you look at the main, uh, I'm, I'm pasting the main uh, graphs in the chat. If you look at that, then um you you'll see that we are back on track yeah yeah okay yeah uh so we i mean, we might have to put out uh a small warning somewhere in the blog post or wherever we want to explain it that this is not a degradation in performance. It's just a bug in monitoring stack. We have fixed that. Um, it's good to see that even after the fix, we are still at the same uh, 15 second range. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So going back, uh, if you scroll down a little bit, some more. Yeah, so for the scalability metrics, um, I have added one more uh, metric all the way at the end of the page. It's um, get nodes count. And the interesting behavior here is that for VMIs, the get node count is actually decreasing after uh, yeah, after the green line. And for VM, the the get count is increasing after the green line. So it's almost opposite. Um, we have not seen this behavior uh, until now. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, so that's yeah, an analogy. tight groupings here for a while. That's interesting. Yep. On both sides. Yeah. Okay. Green, what was green again? Green's the. Um, uh, the um, I'm looking. The green is, green is the switch of provider. Oh, the provider change. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Well, there is still some variance. I mean, there's a period where, I mean, it looks like from this one has some relationship to the green line. This one doesn't. There's definitely a period where it seems like there's yeah. a change. And then this one kind of too has a change towards 
pretty recently. Okay. So the one thing that that um, <clears throat> in the VMI graph uh, between the green and the red lines, there are a lot of entries with zero values. Um, I I think the top graph, right? Yeah, yeah there. Okay. And then after the red line, you don't see those values anymore. Uh, and we are seeing consistent grouping um, at the top. So probably the monitoring is improving after that fix. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure. I haven't dug into why mm -hmm. this behavior okay. exists. Interesting. Yeah, okay. so this was one thing odd. Um, the other things, I think we are pretty even or um, we have done some little bit better. So for the patch node count for VM, um, I think we have done a little bit better. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and the below graph from there. Yes, that one. Okay. And other things is almost same. Yeah, these all these are, these, are, these are just okay. I mean, this is cool to see the um, them all here like this. And it's cool to see the data shift because we are getting the um. Yeah, I mean, you can see like there's some interesting trends in some of this stuff. Like here's another one. There was probably a change here, but they're not major. Like it's it's um so weekly patch nodes. 4 VM, uh, like this amount to meet, like, cause it's on the scale that it's on the 20, like there's no correlation to the number of VMs that we're creating since like that number stays constant, right? And it's like a fifth. So to me, it's like this, a lot of this is noise. It's just, yeah. It is... So for, for that patch node count, I think the correlation is, I, I'm curious if the correlation is on the runtime of of the jobs instead of the um, VMI count, because there are certain yeah. controllers which periodically patch nodes, and I I'm not sure if you know bringing the runtime of the test down will bring those observations down as well. So that would also be uh, something to to look into. Yeah, I think, well, I guess what I'm trying to say is that if long as, as long as we don't see, like we, the value of these is that we want to make sure this stays within this, you know, I mean, a pretty large range. I mean, for me, like, it's not really scary unless we just start going above, like, you know, start having some sort of correlation, right? Like, when this goes up to 100, then we'd notice that. That'd be a problem. So as long as to me, like, it stays below, as long as it's clearly not related to, to our scale, and it's you know something else like something periodic, and that's fine. Like this is this is good. This is what we want to see, regardless of the line moving up and down. It's not not too scary, right? So, yeah. Um, one more thing: if you look at uh, patch pod counts, I think it's the very first in scalability. Yeah, that one. So for okay. for the second graph, the VM patch pod count. There is a clear shift up from the green line. Um, and I think this is a generic pattern across all the graphs that after the green line, which is switched to 127, we are seeing more spread across the graph instead of consistent uh, grouping. So okay. I think if we don't get better in a week or two, I think we should definitely uh, try to dig in why we are seeing this um, gap um, spread. Yeah, and then we've got the opposite on this one. It's kind of interesting. Like this is, I think this is right. This is that one we can talk about with the upstream Kubernetes six scale, where we've got. There's probably something that can explain why it's taking fewer patches in some cases, and in some cases it takes more. On average, it's almost the same, and then slight performance improvement and much tighter groupings with. With the performance, yeah. Maybe yeah. we'll run into so, um, maybe we'll run into um, uh, 
some of those guys over in Paris and we can talk to them about it. Yeah, and one more thing I wanted to ask for the jobs that we have running. Um, so if we decide on a day, is it possible to, you know, pause the garbage collection and go in the cluster and inspect things? Uh, I would be curious to actually see after the green line, if we actually see like 15 seconds of uh, like worst case, oh, sorry, P95. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I mean, the, I don't know if we, I don't know if we can't, I mean, there's because of the, it being the shared cluster for CI, we always have to turn CI off for a little bit. We might be able to, I mean, maybe we can talk to Brian and we can get like a, a brief period where we turn it off and, uh, and we don't accept any jobs and then we look at it. We have to ask. Yeah. I mean, even if, even if we don't pause it, when these are running, I, I assume they'll be running for an hour or so, right? Um, at, at that time, we can probably, like it's enough time we can go in and, and look around and things like that. So yeah, yeah it, definitely curious if we can get Brian and, you know, get access to um, one of those um, environments. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. So did it, this one, um, oh, one more thing. Okay, so this is the, the red line is the release of one one. The upcoming release is one two. Do we need to, uh, wait a second. So this is, you're gonna push this into which branch? Yeah, this going into. So this is currently against main, but um, ideally we should be backporting or cherry picking to one, uh, one, two. Okay, and then what did we do for one, one? Because then, um, I'm not remembering. Uh, no, I think you have got that wrong. Oh, am I in the wrong directory? What's the docs per scale benchmark? All right. So I think we made this change after 1.1. One, one. We did not cherry pick it to 1.1. One, one. Ah, okay. Then, okay, so maybe when you do, yeah, why don't we do that? Okay, can we do, let's see, let's, cherry, let's bring this one into 1-1. One, one. I think we forgot that one. Okay, let's cherry pick this into 1-1. One, one. And then, um, since 1-2 is not released, we'll need to, but it should be like, I think it's, hold on, I, pull, I just pulled up the, um, the date. I think it's the um, March 5th. March 5th, it'll be tagged. So we don't have to wait long here. So, um, so yeah, let's cherry pick this one to one. Let's get this into main, cherry pick it back to one, one. And then we'll do um, a follow up with a line for uh, Oh, no, no. For the next no. One. Um, so I think we, there is some confusion. Um, so, first of all, this is, this is a thing I need to fix in my PR. These numbers are for one, two, right? Um, it's a typo because I forgot to change that uh, release number. Um, oh, the one, oh yeah, right. So this is when we cut one, one. So everything after here is one, two, right? Correct, yes. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Oh, so we don't have, okay. So then we just don't have, um, or is this a typo? Oh no, we don't even have the-, the Yeah, so- This is one, one. Yeah, so if you oh, go back to one. to current main, yeah, instead of the release, oh, uh, yeah, we we change the format. Yep. So we actually merge the V one 
one data which is similar to no. what we have for v12 but the only thing is this merge went in after the release and we did not cherry picking on the release so this time oh, okay. we have enough it. time we can merge in main and also cherry pick it onto the reach. Okay, so this one, um, this so this one needs to be cherry. Oh wait, no, this one needs to be cherry picked. So the um, the current this patch right here, this one yes. needs to be cherry picked to, to at least one one. Okay. Yes. And then and then this one can go into main and then this should, this should be one two. Correct. Yes. Okay, I got it. And okay. also, this should be cherry picked to one two branch. Yep. <clears throat> okay, that makes sense. I follow. Okay, yeah, looks good. I think um, yeah, we can let's get this in. Yeah, if we want, um, if you want to merge, yeah, we can merge before the release is cut. That's fine. It doesn't really matter. It'll be it's only in a few days. So once we get this updated, um, we can get this in. Yeah. Yeah, I can, I'll push that fix soon. Okay, all right. Um, and then you've got adding the, this is the other one. Okay, we need to get this one. Um, yeah, I can look at this right after and I'll merge this one in until we got it. Yeah, it's just the same graphs. Um, okay. This is where I took everything from. Yeah, yeah okay, that's what I was wondering. Okay, there we go, so you have the other, the other folder for it, okay. Makes sense to me. Okay, yeah, we'll get. I'll get this one merged, and then we can. Um, and you can just let me know when you update this, and we'll can. Uh, okay. Try and get this one too. Okay. Good. All right. I think that's all. Is there anything else you got to lay? No. Um. Yeah. I. I think we might have to pick up um the quark integration work again. Um. Uh, I did not get a chance to. Um to take it in past couple of weeks. So once the release numbers are out, I um, think we'll focus on um, quark integration and try to get it for 1.3. Okay, <clears throat> that's fine. Yeah, well, at this point, we'll really push to 1.3. Okay, all right, I think, I think we're good then. All right, let me...